An electromagnetic wave oscillates at 90 degrees to the direction of motion. And because it is a transverse wave, what we can do is uh, we can look at something called polarisation. And we can look at how uh, we can um, maybe make something plane polarised, or we can also block out all the light or the wave completely by applying a couple of filters, which is what I'd like to look at now. Here we have the electric and magnetic fields on, from an electromagnetic wave. And what I'd like to do is just really consider the electric fields only. And if we were to look head on at this wave, what we see is that uh, some of the electric fields are vibrating up and down. Uh, but there's also going to be a lot of waves here and there's going to be some that are vibrating side to side and some are vibrating at all different angles. And what we can say here is that the light is unpolarised. And this is uh, like the light maybe emitted from a light bulb or maybe the sun. And what we can do is we can apply a filter to this. And what we can start to do is filter out some of those uh, vibrations. So if we had a filter that uh, only had uh, a slit in it that was vertical, what that would do, that would filter out all of the uh, crossways and uh, any light that's coming out at an angle. And what we'd have then is light that looks like this. And what we can then say is that light is plane polarised because it's been polarised into one plane. If we were to apply another filter to this, then again, all that light would get through if the two filters are in exactly the same plane. If, however, we rotate it, what we find is that the intensity of light that gets through decreases. And if we have two filters that are at 90 degrees to one another, one another what we find actually is that none of the light gets through. And this blocks out the light completely. So we can do the same. We can use uh, a couple of pieces of Polaroid. It's basically a nitrocellulose and they're basically uh, small crystals of uh, quinine iodosulfate. Yeah, I did have to look that up. Um, that what they do is when they absorb light, they only emit light that is plane polarised. And if we have the two filters which are perfectly in line, so both vertically, it lets uh, some of the light through, but actually it only lets about 50% of that light through. As I start to rotate them, we can see that less and less light gets through until eventually, if we have the two filters at 90 degrees to one another, none of that light gets through. And what we have there is just an example of how we can polarise light. So we can use a, a light meter to uh, have a look at the intensity of light that goes through a couple of filters. So we've got a filter to make the light uh, plane polarised, and then we have the analyzer. And actually what we find is that um, the amplitude of the light that comes through is equal to the original amplitude of the light that, we, that came out of that first filter, times cos theta. However, we already know that the intensity of light uh, is proportional to the amplitude squared, and that was in the previous video. So we can then say that the intensity of the light transmitted through the analyzer is equal to the original intensity times cos squared theta. And this is known as Malus's law. Why is this important? Well, uh, we have Polaroid sunglasses and what these do is these cut down on the glare from reflected light. Uh, also, the light emitted by many uh, laptop and uh, screens on things like calculators is also polarised, which I can show maybe with that filter. As I move that filter, uh, it basically filters out that plain polarised light. And reflected light from water uh, is something else, which again, that's what the, the sunglasses cut down on. If we look at uh, some water, and there's light that comes in at a certain angle. Uh, if the angle is about 57 degrees, then the light that comes in is unpolarized. As it hits the surface, some of the light is refracted down and some of the light is reflected. And what we find is that uh, the light reflected down uh, is still kind of unpolarized but all the light that's reflected is plane polarised. So this is plane polarised light. Uh, and you can often see the effect if you look at windows or perhaps um, if you may be, uh, if you're driving and you see a low winter sun on a wet road, you really kind of have that glare. And we can really cut that down by looking through um, the, uh, the plane polarised light with the polarised sunglasses. And what this has the effect of doing is effectively blocking out all of that reflected light so you can actually see the road a lot more clearly. 
final example is if we have two Polaroid filters that are at 90 degrees to one another and between the two filters we put in a piece of tape although in real life you might have um, a model of a, an engineering component perhaps part of a hook or a bridge is when you put them back over each other uh, we can actually look at stresses in that material uh, and this is a really useful way of uh, analysing shapes, uh, a bit of stress analysis.